What is going on all of you guys? This is the Iru Mugan official trailer, my reaction, comments, review of it. I remember we watched a teaser for this for a very long time ago. I remember a single scene in that teaser where the main character turned around and his eyes were completely dark. That still haunts me to this day. And honestly, that teaser was awesome. Like, there's no other way around it. So finally the trailer has been released. Like, hopefully this trailer can hold the standard that the teaser set, for me at least. Unfortunately, there's no English subtitle, so I try to understand as best as I can anyways, but uh, I can't promise I will understand it to its fullest potential. But that's about it, so we might as well jump right into this and hopefully this trailer will be as good as the teaser was. Let's go. Oh wait, I remember the scene from the teaser as well. There was someone with like mixed string with something. This is by the way, there's nothing serious about that. Just a little wound. Small. Yeah, I remember, I remember this. He had that mask on him. It's a girl. You can see from her name. I think, I'm not sure. That's the scene! And he, then he leans forward. Exactly! I remember that as well. Holy shit. That also scared me a lot. There he is. The man with the dark eyes. Honestly, I can't remember. Now we can help weapons. Such a badass. I am with police. It looks like a high quality movie. That's that's awesome. Oh, that's a lot of money in a bag. Okay, so he's the badass. Yeah, I remember, I kind of remember him from teaser being a complete badass. He's a good actor as well. He fits in the role perfectly that he's actually playing. That's not him, no. Exactly, that's not him. Okay. That's, those masks are so scary. Just imagine standing in front of someone wearing that. The maniac, the psychopath. I mean, I can't understand the story so far. What? The man dressed up as a nurse. Oh, exactly that. That's the dark eyes. He has what well I did. The turn away. In the That's the scene, Raja. I remember. That's the scene. Narani. Wait, so is there like a virus going around? That's why they have the dark eyes. So when you get infected by the virus, you get dark eyes. I like, I can't tell to be honest. But as I said, Vikram is such a good actor. I haven't seen that much of him, but the things that I have seen him in is very good. So, I mean, he's such a talented actor. He's such a good actor to play the badass as well, like he did in this one. Like he just fits right in there. So anyways, they have these dark eyes and I can't tell if there's like a virus going around. They were using gas masks maybe to protect themselves from the virus when they were handling it. Or maybe they were creating the virus to unleash it upon the world or something. I can't tell at all. As I said, I can't understand the language. The whole movie looks very high quality. A lot of budget put into this. And I really enjoy those kind of movies. Because you can easily feel if there's a lot of effort put into a movie or if they didn't really care that much. But this one... I actually look like they cared a lot about the movie and you can clearly see that. I couldn't really tell about the man that was dressing up as a nurse and then as a woman or something. I couldn't really tell what part he had in this movie. I felt like he was a psychopath from when he removed the mask and then dancing with the music with a paintbrush in his hand w when he kidnapped someone else. Like I kind of get this a psychopath vibe from him, but I'm not sure at all. Like he almost feel like the Joker in the Batman movies, like that kind of guy. He tries to kill Batman, which is Vikram in this, and then he's the Joker because he's kind of a madman. But that's what I got from this. And honestly, this looks really cool for, for many various reasons. They were like smashing cars, there's good actors in there. Couldn't really tell the story exactly, but those dark eyes really haunt me. For some reason, they scare me a lot. So yeah, unfortunately, there was no English subtitles, but I can't do anything about that. So, so as far as I understood, this looks like a good movie with a lot of effort into it. And I really enjoy that. There was also a love story featured in this. I couldn't really tell what part that had in the movie, but there's probably something with that as well. So there's like a lot of good things going on in the movie at the same time, which you can follow and makes the whole story so much more interesting, I suppose. But anyways, that's about it, guys. So thanks so much for watching. 
My Twitter is in the description below if you want to follow me. You can also find me on Instagram if you want to. Other than that, I hope you have a great day and peace.